breaking news. Tunubu exposed as NLC unveils shocking truth behind the federal government's one trillion subsidy remover claim. See what happened. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. According to rumors, Comrade Joe Ajaro has disclosed that the government committee assigned to negotiate with the labor unions admitted during a protest at the National Assembly that no savings have been made since the first subsidy was removed. Ajaro's statement comes in response to President Tinubu's assumption that his government saved over one trillion within two months by ending a payment for the unproductive fuel subsidy. The NLC has denied President Bola Tinubu's claim that the government has saved over one trillion naira since the removal of fuel subsidy. During the ongoing nationwide protest organized by the labor unions, Comrade Joe Ajaro made the significant statement. He disclosed that the committee formed by the federal government to negotiate with the unions admitted that no money has been saved since the fuel subsidy was removed. Ajaro complained by Festus Osifo, accompanied by Festus Osifo, from the Trade Union Congress, TUC, led the protesters to the National Assembly on Wednesday, August 2nd. He said, Mr. President talked about one trillion saved. The committee where we met, they told us that no one Kobo has been saved so far. Therefore, we have not agreed on what to pay anywhere. However, President Tinubu, in a nationwide broadcast on Monday, July 31st, claimed that approximately one trillion has been saved since the government stopped paying for fuel subsidy. Tinubu said, "In a little over two months, we have saved over a trillion naira that would have been squandered on the unproductive fuel subsidy, which." only benefited smugglers and frosters, he added. That money will now be used more directly and more beneficiary for you and your families. As members of the NLC launched nationwide protests against the removal of petrol subsidies, demonstrations saw protesters gathered at the National Assembly as well as in Lagos, Abuja, and other parts of the country, expressing their discontent with the current state of the nation. Notably, the N NLC had issued a seven days ultimatum to the federal government last Wednesday, July 26, demanding a, re a, reservoir, a reversal of all anti poor and insensitive policies. The situation remains dynamic and everyone is closely watching the government's response to the NLC's revelations and the unfolding protest. The outcome of this explosive situation will undoubtedly shape Nigerian social political landscape. Likewise, all Nigerians are waiting patiently to defend the allegation filed against their government. And it is also crucial that the government takes immediate steps to restore public faith in its actions and intents. Meanwhile, the Vanguard newspapers has duly reported that the People's Democratic Party PDP has dismissed President Bola Tinubu's nationwide broadcast as a collection of empty propagandist promises intent to divert attention from his lack of preparation for governance, according to the Vanguard newspapers. The National Publicity Secretary of the party made these remarks during an ongoing media conference in Abuja. Furthermore, the Vanguard also disclosed that they disclosed the fact that the, the PDP National Secretary Debbie explained that the president broadcast mainly 
rehashed promise made by his party, the All Progressive Congress APC, the rehashed the All Promise the APC made during the 2015 elections. The news source said the he pointed out that one of those unfulfilled promises was the commitment to create 3 million jobs annually for over eight years. According to the Vanguard newspapers, the PDP accused the president's handlers of hastily putting together another set of promises without any re-intention of fulfilling them. The news also narrated that they labeled the plan to distribute money to Nigerians as trade money 2.0. Vanguard disclosed that facts Vanga disclosed the fact that more so the PDP criticized the president's speech for lacking substantive plans to address the country's security challenges and acts and concerns of Nigerians in the riverline areas. Conclusively, the Vanga newspapers made it known that they pointed that that only road transport was mentioned leaving their vital issues unaddressed. Despite the fact that this dismissal from the PDP is thorough, it is just hoped that all they have said about Tenubu's promises should not come true, because if it comes true, then there might be greater challenges in, in the future. Well, let's see what the future uh, hopes. It is also important to know that this news declaration of the Vanguard newspapers did not get the attention of many online viewers as the various thoughts and opinions were shared concerning the message that was delivered. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts and opinions on this. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.